Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. That doesn't look good, does it? So guys, Elsa, the 740. Today we're gonna to have a look at the cooling system. Now, obviously this thing's been sat for 10 years off the road and I don't know when parts were replaced before that. The coolant definitely looks very, very old. The thermostat, we know it's at least 10 years old, if not more, and we really don't want that to stick closed, cause the motor to overheat. Not a good time. Yeah, the hoses look okay, but again, you know, they've got some age to them now. Um, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and get it all done. But also, she's actually running slightly cold. Um, the gauge doesn't get up to halfway. Now, I've only run it a couple of times, but yeah, there's a few things it could be, but it could also be the thermostat as well. So um, in any case, we just need to crack into the, the cooling system. I'd feel so much better with a, with a new thermostat that I can rely on, some fresh rubber, some fresh hoses, fresh coolant, and then we know we're good to go. Now, I'm not gonna replace the heater core hoses today or the small hose that comes off the radio and goes to the expansion bottle because I don't have them. I need to measure the, the, these hoses. I need to measure this one in particular, the one that goes to the expansion bottle. I need to measure the inner di diameter and the length so that I know what to order. And then we'll do that in a future date, but they, they look really actually in quite good condition. So I'm not as worried about those. To be honest, all the hoses don't look too bad, but I'm just gonna do them anyway because we're dropping the coolant to change the thermostat. And because the coolant's really old, so you may as well at least do the main hoses and then we'll do the small ones at a later date. So we've got the bottom hose tucked in down there. The clamps look pretty good. It's a lot better than the 940 I did recently. I think it should all come off quite nicely. Apologies for the ominous tripod leg as well that's kind of sticking out on screen. So what are the chances of getting it all in the bucket? Place your bets now. Yeah, so if you hear me splashing around, you know what it is. So I can't do the things on the ground that I wanted to do today. That's that. That's that. Yeah, I mean, I'll just keep this hose as a spare. But you can see where the cowling was rubbing into the Right there, there's even a bit of the colon that's rubbed away, and then that's rubbed into there, so only a matter of time before that's split. Yeah, guys, this was a big one for me. This thermostat. Just get paranoid about, well, I guess not paranoid, but, you know, rightly, rightly concerned about old thermostats. I've got no idea how old this is. And the car was sat for so long, just worried about it failing on me, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't take long to cook the engine when these stay shut. But I think, like I say, the gauge is running on the low side. It doesn't really get up to halfway. So I think, to be honest, this, the thermostat's probably sticking open. But I'll take it home and I'll test that when missing Volvo's at work. So she doesn't bollock me for putting an engine part in a saucepan. Oh dear, that doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, look, it's bust. Yeah, guys, look at that. You see how on this side, I've never seen this before. You see how this, this metal piece here on the side is hooked over that spring. Whereas on this side, it's popped out. However, that happens. So it was sticking open. The stat's not actually, not able to obviously that's, that leaves the stat open slightly. So the coolant was flowing freely and the thermostat wasn't stopping it. 
there's like a wax element inside. So as that wax heats up, it opens up then, it pushes open the valve. So as this starts to open, the coolant is then able to, to flow freely through the radiator at the front of the car. Ah, I don't know if I can get it out. Guys, have you ever seen anything like this before? So I borrowed missing Volvo's toenail clippers and just grabbed onto that and just popped it out. Of course, it does make you wonder how long it's been like that for, you know, and, and how long the car was running too cold for. Inside there, I'm having a look at the head in the coolant passages and it all looks really nice actually. So um, yeah, we've got some pit in here, but I'm not too worried about it. It should be okay. So our stat's gonna go like that. This could catch you out, couldn't it? These thermostats, they send them out like that and you think, okay, that's the seal that pushes against there. In it goes, or that way. But, but no. I wonder if that, this has caught out many people. Why don't they just put the seal on? Leave it loose in the box or put it on properly. I don't see the sense in putting it on incorrectly, you know, just to catch people out. It's got to slip over. Make sure this is off. I should have done this before I put it back on. That's the best way for this to go then. Oh. Oh no. Look what I found. Holes in this look. Where it's corroded through. So we need a water pump. Yeah, it's just those two holes on the top. The rest of it's kind of okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think the thing is, I need to see how far the hose will go on. If the hose goes right up to this point here, where it can't really go any further, we've got a good sort of centimetre and a half, couple of centimetres there, where the hose will go on and the clamp can go on there. So it doesn't really matter too much about this part. Um, obviously we need to replace the water pump, but I don't want to have to do that now. Yeah, I'm glad that we did this stuff so that we've found this, these issues. Because we had just, if we had just left it, you know, we've got a blown thermostat, corroded water pump. Yeah, it should be all right, shouldn't it, guys? So I'm going to start it up, I'm going to run it up, there's just water in there, I want to do a flush. So basically I've filled up the system with water, I'm going to run it, drop it, probably put water in again, run it, drop it again and just keep doing that until there's nothing but water coming out of it. Because I don't have running water here so I can't run a hose pipe through and, and do a flush that way. So I was actually just letting it warm up and the gauge kept going up until almost until the red notch. Uh, it was almost in the red and then I shut it off. The top hose was hot, bottom hose was cold. Then I actually came out of the garage and had a look from a distance and realised that the car is kind of on a slant like this, like the back end is higher and this front is lower when it's parked on the ground because of the way the garage is angled like that. So actually still the back of the engine is the higher point. And even though the car's level in terms of horizontally so that the bottle is the highest point, not that side is the highest point. Still the radiator is too low and this side is too low because the car's lower at the front and higher at the back. So now I've actually jacked the front of the car up so that it's much higher and now it's fine. 
can really catch you out that can if the car's not on a on the correct surface totally level surface it will affect the way it bleeds up the air gets trapped 